there's a moral reckoning to be had here. I mean, many, many people who support Ron Paul are people of faith. And for them to be, and for all of us, really, I mean, to really be serious about being, you know, if, you're, if you are of faith and you do believe that, that there's a moral, that you have a creator and that there, that there are something like universal morals and ethics, mass murder can't ever be a part of that and make sense. Because after all, our, bom our bombs and our soldiers are not just killing terrorists, that category of people. They're killing women, they're killing children, they're killing elderly. And there's the natural consequence of all of this is that people get very, very angry when you kill their families. There's no getting around that. They're going to hate and resent you forever. And all we are doing right now is making our lives far more difficult because there are people growing up. And remember, to a 15-year-old in Afghanistan, he is a patriot if he's trying to defend himself against a US soldier. It's his country, it's his family. If he throws a grenade at you, I mean, he's not an insurgent, he's someone just protecting his own space as you or I would if that were happening to us. I don't, I don't doubt there's a single person in this room who wouldn't react that way if, if, if invaders came. So why do we keep doing this to ourselves? Why do we keep creating the same mistakes? It's time now to organize, get together, talk to our friends, talk within our own communities, talk to non-libertarians, talk to people outside the freedom movement in peaceful ways, in ways that are not antagonistic, and ask the right questions. Ask people, what does victory look like in Afghanistan? I mean, how long are we planning to stay there? What does the war on terror look like when it's won? All I know is I don't feel like I've won anything if my genitals are being examined before I get on a plane. I mean, it's a crude way of putting it, but that's a terrible, terrible violation of our civil liberties. And it just, it I mean, it's symbolically so awful of how far we have fallen away from our most basic principles, the things that made us proud to be an American, what made us free the things that did make American exceptional, like there were not physical pat-downs, like your t phones co couldn't be tapped without a court order, like people couldn't investigate, you know, it wasn't anyone's business what you read or what you, you know, what your correspondence is with others. Those were the things, those are the things about America that are worth preserving and fighting for. And that's what we should be thinking about when we think about when we're proud to be patriotic and freedoms that soldiers are worth fighting. Those are the things, not what we're doing overseas. It's antithetical to notions of freedom. It doesn't work from a capitalistic perspective. And eventually, sooner or later, our moral reckoning will be had. We can't be a serious people. We can't lead the West on enlightenment. We can't leave, lead freedom if what we're mostly known for is occupation and mass murder. So I'm hoping that's helpful. And if, if you have any, are we ready for questions? Uh, two, two questions. All right. Absolutely, I think that the right people, is, oh, I'm sorry, the question was, um, would teaching people about economics help the peace movement? And certainly with the right people it is, when you approach fiscal conservatives, always ask them how much the, how much the war costs and how much they're willing to pay to support our bases and our occupations. I always ask them, I mean, how much does it cost and how much are you willing to spend to continue doing that? So it's, it, it, that's just a great place to start. I mean, when, if, first you can get deeper and say, of course, you can't have guns and butter. That's just natural law. I mean, it just it doesn't work. Any other questions? All right, great. Um, I'm at the table out there. My email is angel at antiwar.com, and I'm always open for questions, arguments, suggestions, new ideas, and I'll be at the table the rest of the weekend. So thank you so much for listening.